Assalamualaikum and very good day. Welcome to the practical demonstration on hemostasis screening test which involves prothrombin time or PT and activated partial thromboplastin time or APTT. Both of these tests are very important as coagulation screenings in the diagnosis of bleeding disorders and monitoring of anticoagulant therapy. The equipment of the test is including pipette and pipette tips, required to measure and transfer adequate amount of patient sample and reagents into the test tube. Stopwatch, required to measure the time of the test results. Test tube, required to mix the sample and reagents. The type of patient sample is platelet poor plasma or PPP, required by centrifugation of patient whole blood in the trisodium citrate content. The reagent of PT test include thromboplastin reagent, Composed of tissue factor, phospholipid and calcium chloride. Meanwhile, the reagents of APTT includes APTT reagents composed of phospholipid and activators such as silica or allergic acid and calcium chloride. Water bath, important for the incubation of the mixture of the test samples and reagents. That starts with the PT test. PT measures the activity of extrinsic and common pathway of coagulation cascade. First, pipette 0.1 ml or 100 microliter citrated plasma into two test tubes and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 2 minutes in the water bath. Next, add 0.2 ml or 200 microliter thromboplastin reagent into each test tube. Start stopwatch for each tubes and mix by gently shaking the tubes and observe for the clot formation. Record the clotting times once clot is formed. The normal range of PT is about 10 to 14 seconds and it is depending on the type of PT reagent used. Isolated prolonged PT is due to extrinsic pathway defect such as factor 7 deficiency. Next, let's perform the APTT test. APTT measures the activity of intrinsic and common pathway of coagulation cascade. First, pipette 100 microliter citrated plasma into two test tubes. Next, add 100 microliter of APTT reagents into each tubes. And incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes in the water bath. At 5 minutes, add 100 microliter calcium chloride into each tubes. Stop stopwatch for each tube and mix by gently shaking the tube and observe for the clot formation. Record the clotting times when clot is formed. The normal range of APTT is about 30 to 40 seconds and it's also depending on the type of APTT reagent used. Isolated prolonged APTT is due to intrinsic pathway defect such as factor 8, factor 9, factor 11 or factor 12 deficiency. Meanwhile, prolongation of both PT and APTT is due to common pathway defect such as factor 10, factor 5, fibrinogen or prothrombin deficiency or due to multiple coagulation factors deficiency. Thank you for the attention. Hopefully, this demonstration is helpful in understanding of principles and procedures of PT and APTT tests.